best wrestling podcast in the world. Fact. The Road Wearing, Original Pete, The Bone Leaving, Power of Positivity, Keeping It Rollins, The Sum. Fact. The Homicidal, The Genocidal, The ECW Loving, Daring Young Creeping, Mr. No Days Off, Scott. Fact. The Biscuit and Gravy Eating, Naomi Loving, Lunatic Craving, The Melting Pot, JP, and you can bank on that. Fact. The Bailey Hugging, The Interrupting, The Jaeger Drinking, Mouth of the Carolinas, Will Stevens. Fact. It's a new day. Yes, it is. I miss you, Darren Young. Little Steven, Darren Young, in a evening gown match with Pat Patterson. Little Steven gets a little French Canadian in him. If Jeff Hardy's going to face Jay Leno in a steel chairs match, people are just jealous because I got skill. Here's my issue. Is it <laughs> nope. worse to get beat by one midget or three? Little Steven in a beer drinking contest with Naomi. I had this big issue with people. I don't want to sound like an idiot. Just kept it Rollins. Jimmy Hart. Triple A X Pac against Lil Steven in a microphone on a pole match. Anything can happen. The light went. If you don't want it, then don't bark it. We're three man back. That's horrible. I don't want to make you look bad. You're buddy. fired, sir. When you want to hear me mess up, air in Radio Land. When you want to hear me not mess up, I did not know that. Wow. <laughs> Wrestling with attitude. When you want your beer, awesome. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Wrestling with Attitude. I'm Little Steven. That is the summit. Welcome out there at Periscope over there. What's up? Um, Welcome to all these people that's on Periscope right now. In case you don't know what this show is about. It's about wrestling. Yeah, Scott is out there. We got a bunch of people joining. Uh, As we're talking about wrestling today. Let us know who your favorite wrestler is, who you want to see at WrestleMania, who you don't want to see at WrestleMania. Oh, there's and, a lot of those. <laughs> and let us know what you think about Louis Stevens' shirt because it's absolutely horrendous. Uh, he bought it. <laughs> Dude, you know, you had to get something free. Uh, but, you know, we got a great show. In case you didn't hear who I am, I'm the Summit, you know, and he does a great job of introductions. I did. I, I did yeah. a great job introducing you. And I, I, you know, I, I think I'm pretty good at hosting, but you know, that's just me. Yeah, you're all right. But <laughs> you're all right, man. Uh, but you know. Anyways. Anyway, go ahead. Um. So let's. Uh. How well? How was your week? You know, it's uh. It was. It was a good. I don't know. I feel do like I have share? to share. I have to share. Apparently. Why do we have know. to share? I, I don't know. You know, we're here talking about wrestling. Wrestling was. That's the only guy to start talking about my feelings. Apparently. Talk about your feelings. <laughs> no, it's not that kind of show. You don't have to talk about your feelings. It isn't? No. Oh, okay, no. well. No. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> you know. Uh, but we got a lot of people joining the room. You know, welcome to Wrestling Attitude. We got a great show. We're going to talk about wrestling, of course. Yeah. We got Sound Off. What else we got, Stephen? Well, we also got What If and This Week in Wrestling History. Hold on a second. Mr. T says, love to see Sting, Sting again. You will see Sting at WrestleMania. Uh, you know, of course, Just, he's going yeah. to Hall of Fame, uh, where he's supposedly announcing his retirement. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I hear. Um, which I, I'm okay with. I'm all right with it now. What him going to Hall? Yeah, no, he it, should go to Hall of Fame. It, it, it's nothing about that. It's just like I haven't heard anyone else going into the Hall of Fame yet, but they decided to leak that first, and it's like I get why they did it. That's your big name. Oh, I know it's your headliner, but. You know, I just I, – I haven't seen any other names go into the Hall of Fame yet. And I'm like, well, at least so this, early. this week they could have done one, and they didn't, you know? Yeah, but they're going to put at least six people in. So you got enough weeks. <laughs> well, so far the names look great. Uh, to me, they do anyway. Uh, you know, you know, we JBL supposedly is one of the names leaked that's going to be in. Jacqueline is going to be in. And the one that deserves to be in more than anybody else, uh, the fabulous Freebirds, Michael Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, supposedly that's the ones that's gonna be in the hall, inducted into the Hall of Fame, and they need to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, they uh, should. I mean, there's no, no there, there's no if buts about it. If um, buts. What's there's no, but well, you know what I meant. No, <laughs> you know, hall, you don't have a Hall of Fame unless you have the greatest of the great in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. 
And I mean, last year was a slap in the face with with uh, Rikishi. Well, and that other team that guy in. I, I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm not as mad about the other team. The Bushwhackers. I'm not because I like the Bushwhackers, but they weren't one of the greatest tag teams to ever be. Well, in not wrestling. in WWE, but not in wrestling. Apparently, around the world, they did a lot. Who cares about? What they did over in Saudi Arabia. Really? Out of all of the... Every, everything around the world, Saudi Ooh. Arabia first comes? Ooh, hold, hold on. Uh, you would love to see matches between TNA and WWE. Could you give me a match you would like uh, to see TNA and WWE? I could give you one name and... T- no, two names. Uh, don't TNA. You, don't you say one. It. <laughs> Who was I don't say Gregory Helms? No. 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 Uh, <clears throat> no, one name I was Kurt Angle, of course. Well, yeah. uh, the other one would be Bobby Roode. See, Everybody I thought you were going to say James Storm. I really thought you were going to say I James like, Storm. Well, no, you, they're not going to push that angle with James Storm, though. Yeah. James Storm is, you know, he's going to be. You can't. In the PG era, which we are in, you can't do James Storm. I guess you can't. You can't let James Storm be James Storm. No. Unfortunately, so. and I don't like that. Because you should be allowed. I mean, TNA's getting away with it. I understand. They, they're they saying they're not part of the PG era, but they are. No, they're, you know, they're, they're more independent. You can say what you want. They're more independent. And that's part of the reason they don't have the following that WWF, WWE has. Yeah. They, they don't have, you know... They don't have a lot of 10, 12-year-old kids buying a Bailey shirt or buying a John Cena <laughs> shirt. You know, they have people buying, they got 30, 40-year-old adults and women buying James Storm and Bobby Roode. You know, the yeah. reason WWE's doing doing what they're doing is because you got a Nikki Bella that is pushing to the kids. Yeah. You got a Bailey, you got a John Cena you got all these baby faces there, and even heels that are pushing towards the kids. Yeah. No, I understand. Well, let's get into our first segment here uh, on the show. What is the first segment, Stephen? We are going into sound off. What is sound off, Stephen? Well, can I play the music? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> WWA Sound Off. Where your voice can be heard. All right, for those who have just joined us, this is Wrestling with Attitude, and we do a little segment here called Sound Off. What Sound Off is is where we take our top fives. We take any kind of top fives. We'll do top five rivalries, top five wrestlers, top five uh, matches. Uh, sometimes we do some creative top fives, like uh, who, you, like who you would like to see the summit face, who you'd like to see me face, uh, stuff like that. This week's top five—they're all creative. No, no, but I'm saying, like, more than just top five uh, wrestler or something. I mean, out of the box—that was a better word. Out of the box top fives. <laughs> but this week we're in the box, and this week's in the box top five. <laughs> Is top five tag teams of 2015 slash the beginning of 2016. So, uh, that can be uh, anyone. I mean, any of them. It can be TNA. It can be NXT. If you want to go New Japan, go New Japan. Whatever. Well, now that you said it, you know, why you're on Periscope, if you want to chat along with us, tell us who your best tag team of the year is. Did you say TNA, the Wolves? Hey, they're up there. Absolutely. I'm actually uh, putting them on my <laughs> You should. Everybody should put them up there. Uh, but there, any tag team you want to put, New Japan, uh, anywhere I'm not forgetting, please forgive me, Global Force, you want to put Trevor Lee and Kurt Hawkins up there, go ahead. Uh, the, uh, the, the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks should be up there. Uh, the Usos, the year they had, New Day. The year they had, there's a lot of good tag teams this year. Uh, you could even the Dudley, uh, you know, it, it, you could put the Dudleys up there. They came back to the WWE. Uh, there's a lot of teams you can put up there. All right. Go well, ahead. let's go ahead and start it off. I'll do my my first one. You do your first one. You know, we'll do it that way. Um, so mine is, uh, and 
A lot of people are going to disagree with this one, but I'm going to put the primetime players as number five. I mean, coming back, having your reunion, and winning the belts for the first time ever for for the primetime players. So, you I, said who? The primetime players. I want to put them on there. Wolves, Dullies, and Hardys. Eh, okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, I'm putting the primetime players on there as number five. Um, you know, I just wish they did more with them. But I was glad that they finally won the tag teams for the first time. So I put them on there because it was an historic event for them. So, and I, I would love to see the primetime players come back, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, it's not. So that's my top five. What's yours? You didn't do your whole no, top no, no, five. No, I mean, you did number five. my number five. That, What's your number You did five? your whole five? No. <laughs> no, what I didn't. What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm, I'm giddy. I got, on a, I got on a hug shirt and... I just don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> well, number five for me, I put Dash and Dawson. They're my number five tag team. NXT tag team champions. They've had it for about six months now. You know, very good young tag team that's coming up. Uh, I've got them number five. Oh, all right. So, Dash and Dawson. Come on, man. d and I know. Well, they're up there, just not, not yet in mine. <laughs> um, Amer- wait a minute. I'm in Russia. Americans should be destroyed. I'm sorry. You feel that way, buddy. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah. Number four, Blake and Murphy. Got to give it to him, no, man. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, come that. on. They held I those tag that. team champions for a long time. You and didn't these put guys, Dawson, D- Dawson and Dash up there, did you? Um, Maybe they're, not. They're okay. later. All right, all right, Just wait. It, it. Um, <laughs> I have a personal with them. Okay. So, But Blake and Murphy. You got a personal with Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. I, I, I'll tell I, you my I, story. I, I, Blake and Murphy. Um, I got to – I mean, come on. How can you not give these guys – and they reinvented, in my opinion, Alexa Bliss becoming a heel. I think she's better as a heel. But um, you got to give it to Blake and Murphy. Having those tag teams – or having those championships for, <laughs> what, like seven, eight months? Until wow. – Yeah, until um, Gotch and – so, uh, English, the vaude villains. Yeah. Okay. How are you named the vaude villains and you're not a villain? All right. I just thought about because it. they were. You villains? need to be a villain. <laughs> you're a bad guy. You should be a villain. Uh, Mr. T asked what we think of Undertaker and Kane. Well, well, great, um, great careers. Uh, are you talking about now? Uh, great careers. Do I think they should continue wrestling? Yeah. Like, are you asking about a match? Like, uh, but no, Undertaker and Kane, two of the best to ever be in this business. Oh yeah, Undertaker tag team as a tag team back in the day, great tag team. Yeah. Today, not the same no. because they're much older, and you know, uh, it's not. If you want to see Kane, the fire demon Kane, yeah. the the devil's favorite demon, yeah. then yes. If you're going to see corporate Kane, no, no. Uh, but you well, know, I as mean, a tag yeah. team, when they're tagging. They're where they should be when they do tag teams against the Wyatt families. And they don't need the tag team belts anymore. No. You got New Day. You got Usos. You got other tag teams coming yeah. up that should be fighting for the tag team title. But I love Kane and Undertaker. Yeah, team. I mean, the hell. The brothers, the structure are great. First, first ballot Hall of Famers, both of them. Absolutely. They're both going in the Hall of Fame no matter what. So, uh, My number four was Blake and Murphy. What is your number four, sir? Mine is the Wolves. You you know, Jay, yeah. Mr. T asked, uh, <laughs> the Wolves won the best – they had one of the best years in TNA. The only thing that hurt the Wolves was the world title tournament, I think. Because yeah. to me, they were the tag team champions, and you had them in this stupid world title series. It was absolutely horrible. Yeah. Uh, it was horrible booking. You know, they beat the Dudleys. They beat the Hardys. They're, they're going to be in a rivalry with uh, Beer Money, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, they'll be fighting Abyss and Psycho Steve or Crazy Steve. I mean. Crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, the Wolves God. have had one of the best years. My only worry is David Richards going to, is getting hurt soon, in case you didn't know. I, I didn't spoil anything. Yeah. But David Richards might be out again, which that will be the second time in less than a year he's been out. Wow. 
With his no, no, Eddie Edwards was hurt last time. Oh, now David Richards is hurt. Wow. So you know, I I'm worried about how their longevity, how long they don't stay healthy. Yeah. All right. Um, my number three. Uh, even though they can't get a break, sometimes I'm putting Enzo and Big Cass in there. And here's my reason. Every time they come out, I get excited. I like watching these guys in the ring. I think they're good. I mean, okay, they haven't won a belt, but if you are entertaining in that ring, you are one of my favorites. So I am giving them number three on my top five because they're entertaining to me. And I don't know why they haven't been pushed yet. I don't know what's going on. In the back. Maybe I, I, it's probably Enzo. Hell, it might be Big Cass that talks in the back. Something tells me it's Enzo. But um, I, I, I'm going to give them uh, my number three spot. So, Okay. Uh, my number three is the Usos. Yeah. Uh, you know, like them or love them, whatever you feel about them. I mean, they had one of the best years, you know, of – tag team wrestlers in this okay. business. I mean, multiple time tag team champions, even though Jay was out, Jimmy was out for a little bit, you know, they came back together. They still fighting for the tag team titles. Uh, at WrestleMania, they, they were the tag team champions. Uh, so it's been a great year for the new, for the Usos. Yeah. So yeah, I got I, number three. I, I, yeah. I mean, I can't argue with that. Um, you know, I, I mean, you it's can. the Usos. It's yeah. the Usos. You're only little Steven. You can't argue with me. Oh, uh, yeah, I can actually. We do it all the time. Anyway, <laughs> number two for me, the Wolves. I like the Wolves. Uh, when we got to see them at Bound for Glory, that changed my life, man. Changed my life in tag teams for some reason. I don't know why. It and changed when, your life? When we saw them in Ring of Honor, which I know was a few years ago, but then I started watching them from there on. And I think they had a great year last year. I do. I think they had a good year. Um, they did. But it, that tournament did kind of mess them up. If they didn't have that tournament, I think the Wolves would have – it would have been Well, better. if they actually had some tag team matches within four months of the last yeah. four months of the year, I think it would have been great. Yeah, that was the problem. They didn't do that. So, um, But I got to give it to the Wolves. I like them. I, I think they're – they are an up and – well, they're not up and coming. No, they're, they're here. They're they're there. <laughs> but the problem is, is can they both stay healthy Yeah. to be a tag team? And that's you know, problem. and because right now they've been hurt most of the year now. Yeah. You know, and starting the new year, they'll be, off, they'll be hurt again. Okay. So, uh, number two for me is the Young Bucks, in case you don't know who they are. Uh, Ring of Honor, you should check the TV out. Uh, new Japan. Uh, they're, they were new Japan tag team champions. Uh, they've been all over the place. They were in TNA. Uh, they haven't been WWE yet, but someday that will happen. Uh, but they're, they're the highest tag team internationally, uh, in the States besides WWE independent scene. They're the hottest thing out there. Uh, the biggest thing for them this year is they need to get a little bit bigger and separating themselves mm-hmm. from they need to be able to and what I mean by separating themselves is have some moves of their own have some new variations of stuff you know i love the super kick party i love it absolutely just love it super kick but party. super kicks every other move is not going to work in wwe no it's not you need to have some different things to do the too sweet thing is good but guess what that's a knockoff of the nwo you know the so I want to see some creativity this year from Young yeah. Bucks, okay. but I love them. I think they're one of the best in the world. All right, they're only behind the one tag team that had the best year. I think this year. Yeah. Um, Go well, ahead. My number one. Uh, I'm going to give it to uh, Dash and Dawson, the mechanics. I look. Here's my thing. I'm giving it to them because I feel that at the end. Around the end of this year, they got the tag team champions in NXT. And I, I, I just think that they're on a roll. And it's, it's nothing but up from here. Like, I think they're a good, good tag team. And I'm, I'm giving it to them. I know you're mad because I'm not giving it to someone else. 
and I'm sorry. And shout I don't out understand. to Our David. Music. Go ahead, David. What? Shout out to David uh, Hard uh, Hardwood. I'm actually friends with him on Facebook. That is, um, is it Dash? Yeah, that's Dash of Dash and Dawson. So I'm actually friends with him. Apparently, we met him before either at Chester or another wrestling place, and um, we've been friends since. So I <laughs> did not know that, but he is from here. It's either Dash or Dawson. I cannot remember who. Um, so you're not that good friends if you don't know who it is. Well, no. I mean, it's just been a while. And then, like, we started reconnecting because I've been talking to him, actually, the last few um, months. And because uh, I, I didn't realize that was him at first. And I was like, this guy looks very familiar. So I didn't know he got a contract with NXT. And I, I so applaud him. you put him number one because you know him. No, that is not it. Now, let me tell you why I put them at number one. I put them in number one because I like them in the NXT tag team divisions right now. So I think they're good. What? Why you they're, you they think they're the going champions. to be. They are the minor league champion. So? How in the world? Now, do you want to play my music or should I? All right. Let me just say this. There's two words to describe this year for tag team wrestling. And that would be two <laughs> words. Right. <laughs> New day. New day. Sir, you're wrong. New day. It's a new day. No, it's new day. <laughs> they rocks. <laughs> See? It's new day rocks. I mean, how do you put them as below them? Because, all right. You ain't even got them in the top five. No, I don't. They've been tag team of the year. Because I don't count. Say what? Slam I do won't. not count them as a tag team. I count them as Stop a faction. It. Stop they it. Are a faction. Stop it. Stop it. They're a tag team. So was the Shield a tag team when they had the they tag were team ta- champions? Yes, they were tag team no, champions. That's not how it works yes, anymore. Yes, it was. That baloney. <laughs> that is how it works. Well, Just because there's three in a faction doesn't mean they're not a tag team. If you actually, when you watch The Shield, okay, most of the time it was Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. It was not Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns or Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins that much. It was Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Dean Ambrose was a singles guy more often. Now, they did have six-man tag team because that's the new normal today. But. New Day, when they wrestle, it is Kofi and Big E most of the time, with Xavier Woods being on the outside. Now, sometimes Xavier Woods will tag with them, but usually, who is the tag team champions? It is Big E and Kofi that's wearing the belts. All right. I mean, dude, That makes them a tag team. That's fine. You're not going to change my answer. I'm giving it to the mechanics. I know, but how can you not even put them in the top five? Because I just, I'm, I'm not. That's ludicrous. It, no, it's not. It's not it ludicrous. Is. That is horrible. everyone expected me to put them in the top five. No. And I didn't want to. That, that's didn't because you to. don't know wrestling. Because, no, because if New Day was here, they go, good, positive energy. Because they would not want to be in the top five because they think positive. They, they don't because they are that. number one. That's what I mean. They think positive. <laughs> they would be applauding me right now. They like, you are cool. You are cool. They would be a- no. Awesome. <laughs> they would be cut the mic, cut the mic, cut the mic. That is what they would be doing right now. Really? Yeah, you didn't put them in the top five. Nope. No, I didn't. It, that's embarrassing <laughs> that we're doing a wrestling show. And you don't even put the tag team champions that have been tag team champions most of the year in the top five. Well, you know, that's uh, that's how the cookie crumbles, my friend. That is how the cookie crumbles. That is not how the cookie crumbles, <laughs> Jim <laughs> Carey. <laughs> you can't. I mean, Jim. come on now. Really? Hey, that's, that's some... Oh, I can't believe it. Look, I can understand you putting them above. Dash and Dawson definitely should be up there. Somebody, but I can't believe you ain't putting them in the top five. Ow. You ain't got to put number one, but come on. Well, maybe I should have put them where prime time was. Maybe I should have put them. Prime time's not even been heavyweight tag team champions this year. Yeah, they have. Oh, uh, it's short-lived. Come on, man. Power of positivity. <laughs> they were at Money in the Bank. They won Money in the Bank, man. They lost them, though, at SummerSlam, I think. So. Right. It was like two. But New Day, I'm just saying. I, I don't. I just, my whole thing is you're saying <laughs> you don't count it as a tag team. 
They are a tag team. Oh, no, no. I'm just saying that so, you know, that I have some leadway. But um, <laughs> Leadway for what? What are you going to lead into? I don't know anymore, to tell you the truth. Um, Me to <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, where are you going after this one? Don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, I figure. All okay. right, anyway, that's our top five. And, you know, next week, our top five is going to be <clears> – I thought very hard about this. Actually, it's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> since we got WrestleMania come up, we'll try to do some WrestleMania stuff. Ooh. We're not going to do Fastlane because Fastlane, this is only second year. Such There's a not a lot to do. Me. Really? <laughs> uh, okay. Tell me you didn't say that. Uh, we're going to do WrestleMania. We're going to start doing some WrestleMania things. Uh, next week, though, the top five, I want you to tweet us at WWA Show or chat with us on Periscope next uh, Tuesday. You know, we'll tell you a time. We'll tweet out. Uh, we'll, let us know your top five worst matches at WrestleMania. Ooh. I want the five worst matches that you have ever seen at WrestleMania. I'm going to have to do my homework on that. I know. That's oh, the way I'll make you do it. So, the best of the worst, basically. You know, Snooki counts. Snooki, you know, John Morrison and Trish against Ziggler and the other ones. That counts. Oh, my. All right. So top- I sit next right. to Edward Snowden. Snowden. He will not give it to – okay, uh, sir, have a great day. <laughs> uh, I'm Anyways. glad you got Snowden. I got little Steven. You know, we can wait each other out. You know? <laughs> no. No, 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 we <laughs> wouldn't, actually. Um, but anyways, that's going to be our top five. That's going to be our top five so. worst matches at WrestleMania next year. Okay. And, of course, you will play the song. Yeah, of course I would. Guys, thanks for joining us, Wrestling With Attitude. Check us out, WrestlingWithAttitude.com, Facebook, Tweet. So, people on Periscope, stick around. Even the guy from Russia, if you don't stick around, go ahead. Yeah, please. Uh, you know, <laughs> but we got another show coming up right after this for everybody else. Check our show out tomorrow on Stitcher. Yep, and we'll see you. Check it out on Stitcher, Spreaker, iTunes. We'll see you next time here on Wrestling With Attitude. Now the shoe making moves.